they're playing better than a lot of us thought. They're more exciting, all the stuff we just talked about. And it just brings me back to the offseason. You say, just look at these first four games. If you had been willing to sign another starting pitcher, maybe Tanner Houck is in the bullpen and you don't lose that extra inning game over the weekend. If you had been willing to keep Justin Turner or sign Adam Duvall or even go crazy and splurge on Teoscar Hernandez, Bobby Dahlbeck isn't hitting with two guys on in one of those games and striking out. You know, so you just start to look. If you were willing to actually go out and find a lefty for your bullpen, Joely, Joely Rodriguez isn't pitching poorly in two of these games. So I look at it from the perspective of they should have known someone should have been able to convince ownership hey this team is actually worth spending on you don't need to wait another year give us some more help right now ownership wouldn't do it and maybe the bigger sin is that no one in that front office was able to convince them they've been in it in it each of the last two years they gave up at the trade deadline the team gave up thereafter so like just again from 10,000 feet they're not that far away and the fact that they treated it like they were that far away to me is still perplexing yeah and you know what it is Mike it's simple they thought it doesn't matter how good we are because we're still going to finish last and the math on this one is clear you cannot make the playoffs if you finish last in your division even if you win 85 games they looked at it and said the division's too good we're not good enough we're not going to spend and you know you watch things early uh T toronto was getting no hit the last i saw tampa didn't have the best start to the season so you say why did you just give up and it seemed that's clearly what ownership did and they're going to regret it. I think come July, they are going to regret that decision.